All right. So now again, this is, uh, this is with my driver. So we take a look here. Now, just to remind everybody what's going on, we've got uh, this dark yellow line up there at the top. The one that's moving across here. That is showing me radial and ulnar deviation. You know, one of the things I really notice in, in uh, powerful players, ones that get a lot out of it, is we see them get a lot of ulnar. And in fact, I see a lot of the vertical force we can measure from swing catalyst match up and pair well with that ulnar. So now we're gonna go over here to our other screen. Let's take a look at swing catalyst. This is with my driver. You know, as we take a look, this was actually really good for me. Um, I almost got the triple threat there actually. So let me set that. I can use a hot key to just set impact, set the top, and then we'll set the start. So in terms of baseline, I got 157% vertical force 157 percent of my body weight being driven down into the ground at its peak and just to take a look we can see typical for me it's just a hair late just a little bit late and we want to see that peak vertical force when my lead arm is parallel to the ground so now if we're going to go and load up my one of my super speed swings here all right let's take uh Let's just take a look at the very first one. Okay, so now that's interesting here as we take a look in at the wrist mechanics. Again, uh, I'm not seeing big change in fundamentals. You know, the fundamental pattern, if we just look at the shapes of those curves, I don't see huge, huge pattern shifts. Now, one of the things I do see is I get a little bit more ulnar, okay? So I've got an extra 10 degrees of ulnar deviation so to me, that's, that's actually training someone to release the club harder. Okay? So where they're gonna get more club head speed out of their hands at that last little bit. Now, in order for that to be functional, we need to make sure that we pair that with increased vertical. So if I go over here to Swing Cat and take a look, let's look at, yeah, there's one of the heel stomps. So you can see I actually get my heel up off the ground. And then when I stomp that thing back down, that skyrockets up to over 200. You can see right here, my max 230 percent so one of the technique things i'm confident that we see is that swinging that lightweight stick is helping me generate more vertical and it keeps the balance sheet even by adding more ulnar simple simple things that will help you continue to gain speed long after that very first uh, first gain from that neurological benefit of just starting to train fast and actually that reminds me yes I do know I have the gears hat on.